Hey y'all, this is a quick video on a project I'm going to be working on next spring or next summer sometime. I was planning on working on it this summer, but I didn't get around to it. This is an old Briggs engine I had. I think it's a three and a half or five or maybe a four, I don't know. It's a model one three, that's the first two digits. That's what it says on the connecting rod. And you're probably saying, well look at the number on the flywheel. Well, that's not the right flywheel for it, so I'm kind of guessing at it. But anyway, that flywheel is off of five horse. The first modification I'm going to be doing is putting in this crankshaft here. This is the stock one. You can see it's a uh, look like it's been hit or something. Turn the light on. It's been hit. It's probably bent and it scored real bad. See there. And this one I got here, I could probably clean it up too pretty good. It's it looks pretty good. And the connecting rod out of this is scored really bad. Looks like it's run with no oil at one point. And there's the end cap of it. Uh oil slinger. Uh, and that's another problem I got here is uh, the crank cover. Some people call it the oil sump. I always call it the crank cover. It's been hit here. And there's a crack in it all the way through here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up all this. I'm going to have somebody weld a piece of aluminum right over top of this just to seal it all up and grind it smooth and make it look better and paint it up again. And I'll be putting new oil seal in, of course. And this this is the block. Uh, definitely needs bored out. This is aluminum, so I'm going to try and have a machine shop press a cast iron sleeve in it if they can. And of course, I'll be getting a new piston, new rings, and a new rod. And I'll be using this crankshaft, so which is what I meant to talk about earlier. If you look, they're different. This one's a little bit shorter. This is a little bit longer stroke. And in here, the piston, it's kind of hard to see, will come up to the top of my fingernail, probably right there, be the, the TD, the top dead center. And with the other crankshaft, it brings it up level with the deck. So, maybe getting some more compression and maybe a little bit more power out of it doing that. Uh, that's what makes me think this is a three and a half block because this one I know this crankshaft came out of a five horse here that's what makes me think it might be a three and a half I don't know maybe y'all can help me out a little bit there uh, the valves are good so I'll be just grinding them in re put them back in retainers the valve tappets uh, just a little bit of wear they're not too bad the camshaft's good it's just a little rusty That'd be no problem. The flywheel, it's fine. I'll probably get a new starter clutch. That one's a little needs a new bearings, or I mean not new bearings, but just a little sticky. Might be able to oil it. The coil's good. It has points and condenser. I might end up getting a magnetron for it. I don't know yet. I just got the head gasket laying out here, just to show you. I'm gonna get, definitely be getting a new one because it ain't no good. And this is the original head off of it. It's all clean. I'm pretty sure it's good. I don't know if it's warped or not, but uh, now I have this one. This one ain't been cleaned up. I might use it. I don't know. I think they're both exactly the same. Uh, but I got two to choose from. So, and it's all the head bolts. And it's a few of the crankcase bolts back there. The oil plug. Now y'all, you know, there's the oil slinger, the uh, spring valve spring cover. Now y'all probably wondering, well, where's the carburetor at? It got everything else here. You know, that's what's missing. I don't have a carburetor for the engine. So, I want to try to use this. This came off a, a two-stroke generator, an old one we had here. Uh, it's good as far as I know. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to make a little manifold. 
bring it in like that at an angle like that so it'll clear the exhaust. And I'll just put a standard muffler on there and pick one up at Lowe's or something. Uh, if this don't work out, I'll come up with something. I'd rather have the bowl type carburetor. I don't like them diaphragm type. They're nothing but problems, nothing but trouble. Well, that's pretty much it. I just saw that let y'all see a little project of mine I might be working on. I thought that was pretty neat that uh, this, uh, I might be able to make a stroker out of it since I had this old crankshaft laying around. And it's in better condition than that one. And that should be pretty interesting to see how much power it does have. And once I get it built, I'll probably either put it on a go kart or a mini bike or something like that. Something to have a little bit of fun on. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch y'all later. Thanks for watching.